एवरी वन सो टुडे दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ यू कैन कॉन्फिगर सेल्फ साइंड सर्वर सर्टिफिकेट इन डब्ल्यू एस टू ई आई लेयर सो दो यू ऑलरेडी वॉस्ट मई प्रीवियस वीडियो हाउ टू क्रिएट ए सेल्फ साइंड सर्टिफिकेट एंड सर्वर सर्टिफिकेट दे हैव एन आइडिया हाउ टू क्रिएट दैट वन सो दो यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो न्यूली कैंडली कंप्लीट दिस पार्ट फिफ्टीन सो दे दे कैन एबल टू गेट सम आइडिया लाइक हाउ टू क्रिएट सेल्फ साइंड सर्टिफिकेट एंड सर्वर सर्टिफिकेट सो विदउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट हाउ टू डू दैट वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लाइक लेट मी शो यू दिस इज डब्ल्यू एस टू ई आई सो हियर इफ यू क्लिक नॉट सिक्योर एंड सर्टिफिकेट डिटेल्स सो दिस इज द इनबिल्ड सर्टिफिकेट विच इज कमिंग विद इन द प्रोडक्ट सो विच ऑलरेडी विन एक्सपायर्ड सो लेट स्टार्ट हाउ टू रिन्यू दैट वन सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू डू वर्ड There is one folder is here in configuration. This is our home directory. Inside home directory, there is one configuration file is here. So inside configuration file, there is two folder is here. Access to folder and one more folder is there. Tomcat. So if you open access to folder, let me right click and uh, let me click edit in notepad. So and control F, you can search JKS. So if you search JKS. I have. Uh, if you see here, uh, there is two places. One is your line number four zero nine, and one more uh, place is your line number two sixty three. So these two places, we need to add our custom certificate. So those who are watching this video newly, kindly uh, go through the previous part of this video, so they can able to understand what I'm trying to say. So what I need to do here, let me change uh, the previous video. What we did, so in the repository folder. Resource folder and security folder. So here I are created one custom JKS file, double slash to JKS, and the same file we need to add here. So uh, what we need to do? Just change the name. Let me remove this carbon. So now it's our custom file. Second one is the second also. Let me remove carbon. So this uh, this file and uh, sorry this four zero nine and two sixty three. Now we modified. the uh, file name to our custom file name let's save this one and let me close this and one more uh, folder also there just make sure okay like uh, i'll repeat it again need to go to configuration folder access to folder and access to file so here we need to modify that dot jks file the previous jks file to our custom jks file one more folder is here if you go through uh, tomcat folder There is one file is here, Catalina hyphen server. Let me edit this one. So here also, if you little bit scroll down, here you can see right. There is one line number eighty two. This line number eighty two. There is one security file is here. So we need to modify to custom file name. So this is our custom file name now. So uh, I think hope you remember like uh, we created one alias. Let me go through Git again. So this is our repository where we are maintaining all the source code. So if you see here, there is one alias name while creating the PFX file. We added one alias name, right? WSO2. And while trust the certificate, this server certificate in WSO2 client trust. That time also we added one alias name WSO2. So the same alias name we need to add here. So it will call that certificate from trust store. So I added here. Save this file. Let me uh, close this one. Now our set setup is ready. Just two step. One Tomcat Catalina server file, and the second one access to folder, access to XML file. These two file we need to configure our custom certificate. After that, it's a system related file, so we need to restart our AI component. So this is our uh, logger and the cell which is where uh, AI is running. Let me terminate the flow and restart the flow again. It will take few seconds. So until let me skip this part. So kindly uh, stay in the line. Like we can check the next step. So here you can see that uh, AI already started. So at the end, if you are getting this kind of slash carbon URL, so that means it's confirmed uh, the product started without any error. So let's go through the browser UI browser again. let me close this one and remove this end points and i reload the ei page so now you can see uh, it's already uh, you are getting 
login page let me quickly login it's not required login or not doesn't matter so now you can see this uh, uh, login already completed if you click not secure and certificate details so here you could see earlier was different now the expiry date is November 8 2027 that means our uh, new certificate added in EI layer so hope uh, everyone are like now understand how they can able to create their own uh, Celsian certificate and server certificate and configure it in EI and uh, those who are watching this video newly kindly uh, like share and subscribe my channel if you have any query and concern kindly comment in comment box so i can able to i'll try to improve that one so thank you so much and uh, keep on my channel